A San Antonio teen shot and killed days before his 15th birthday. And tonight, his family gathered to celebrate his life, all while investigators, they're working to track down the shooter. The shooting happened Monday night outside the teen's home over on the southeast side. Kins 5 reporter Megan Reyna was at the vigil earlier tonight. Right now, family and friends are gathered around a growing memorial. Candles are lit and a mother is trying to work through her pain, but she just wants whoever did this to be held accountable and for the gun violence to stop. Happy birthday to you. Timothy Chavez had plans to spend the night of his 15th birthday by his mom's side. Instead, this family is having to find a way to cope with his sudden death. It's, this pain is unbearable. It's so unreal. <laughs> San Antonio police say the teen was shot several times in a drive-by shooting outside his home off South Mittman Street. Investigators say no one witnessed the shooting, but his mother heard the gunshots and saw the car drive off. I don't understand these kids. They're babies and they're... they're, they're they're able to, you know, they get a hold of guns. This comes just weeks after another 14 year old was found dead with multiple gunshot wounds on the northwest side. This type of tragedy is what Derek Taylor is trying to prevent. Of course, there's going to be some issues in the community, but they always don't have to resort to gun violence. And that's what we're here for. Taylor runs Metro Health's violence prevention program, Stand Up SA, a group dedicated to engaging with the youth and young adults. What we try to do is expand their circle, uh, make sure they understand the, ram the ramifications of how it affects the community. The work is focused on the east and west sides, but he admits gun violence is happening across San Antonio. <laughs> leaving families like this one heartbroken and praying for justice. I don't want to hear about another mom going through this. There have not been any arrests made. Police are just urging anyone with information to come forward. Reporting from the southeast side, Megan Reyna, Kins 5.